to our video on identifying oops, the, di the radius, diameter, chords, and central angles of a circle. And um, this, this is often, I think, a frustrating topic because I feel like we're just defining things here. But really, there are so many exciting properties to circles. But in order to ever talk about those awesome properties, we should at least be able to talk about these things uh, with relative ease, the radius, diameter, chords, and central angles. So here in this first question, the circle below us has four labeled parts. Which part of the circle does excuse me, segment U represent? Well, segment U is, is down here. And if you notice, this line uh, um, is not a radius, right? R and T are radiuses, radii, right? But anyway, they're, a radius is a, is a line that connects from the edge of the circle, across the circle, to the center of the circle. And that's what R and T are, so the radius is out. This line U does not go to the center. S is kind of a curved line along the circle, it's called an arc. So that's an arc. Now, we have two choices left, chord and diameter. Now, um, in, the, in the world of circle anatomy, a diameter is a type of chord, right? It's like a, a type of chord, but it's special. It goes through, right, the center, right, and it goes from one part of the circle to the other. So if I drew this line right here, right, that would be a diameter. It goes from one end of the circle to the other and through the center. Now there would be a problem because if we put that line in this problem, we couldn't answer the question because, um, well, actually, if that was U, if blue, the blue line was U, we couldn't answer the question because it would be both chord and diameter, right? We usually refer, refer to diameters as diameters, though, because I think it would be confusing to call them chords as well. And But U is a chord. That's what it is, right? It doesn't, it's not a diameter. It doesn't go through the center. But it does go from one part of the circle to another, and that's, that's what a chord is. The radius, for example, starts at one part of the circle and then goes to the center. It doesn't continue on the other side of the circle. That's a basic you know, intro. And then we have this kind of a question. Again, uh, which line seg what line segment represents a diameter of circle D? So what are our choices? Well, GD, right, or DG, which is what they write right here with a little line above, uh, that's, a, that's a radius. It's not a diameter. XY, okay, a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other, and it looks like it goes through the center D um, is that is the diameter. That's what it is. So X, the A is the answer, but let's look at the other ones. DY, where is that? That's, that's right here, from the center to the circle. That's a radius. So DY is out. EF is a chord, right, but does not go through the center, so it's not a diameter. So XY has to be the answer. One thing I feel like they should have said here is that D is the center of the circle. Uh, often be careful if they don't say that we can't always assume that it is what is the name of line segment AB on the circle below so here's A and here's B and here's the line between them and that is a chord why well it doesn't go through the center it's not a diameter it doesn't touch the center and then go to the circle that's a radius and an arc again is any line along the circle so this is a chord this problem right here, they ask us to connect the points N, P, and R, or N, R, and P, and point M is in the center of the circle, so they tell us that. Connect three points to form a central angle. Well, there's lots of options here. I can connect P to M to N, that's a central angle, and because Y, well, the vertex M is at the center, I could connect um, R, right? to M to P to get another central angle and I could connect N to M to R. All those combinations, right? All of those combinations are central angles. Why? Well, when you're explaining here, they ask us to explain, you're connecting points on the circle, right? N, P, and R to a vertex, that's where the two lines meet, in, and that vertex is at the center. That's what a central angle is. So there are many different options in this question. Here we have a duck swimming from the edge of a circular pond 
to a fountain in the center of the pond. So the duck is starting here, and it is swimming to the center, right? Its path is represented by a dotted line in the diagram. What term describes the duck's path? Well, a chord is not correct, because a chord would have to go from one part of the circle to the other. A diameter is not correct, because of the same reason. A, di a diameter starts and ends at different points in the circle. It's different from a chord, because it goes through the middle. And we have just one line here. We could extend that to form an angle, right? Like if the duck started here, went to the pond, and then came back to this point here. Then this part would be the central angle, right? because it's an angle with a vertex at the center. But the, this is a radius, because it's just a line that goes from the circle to the center. So this duck's path is a radius. And that gets us started to really fun circle-type questions. So I hope you check out those videos. All right, thanks.